हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोडिंग शिक्षा तो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट हाउ टू टेक द स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ अ वेब पेज यूजिंग एच टी एम एल टू कैनवर्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो एच टी एम एल टू कैनवर्स इज अ लाइब्रेरी ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट विच लेट्स यू टेक द स्क्रीन शॉट्स ऑफ वेब पेज सो दिस इज ए जे एस फिडल कोर्स नेपेट यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव दिस एच टी एम एल हेयर दिस डिफ टैग कंटेन सम टेक्सट हेयर एंड देर इज अ बटन ऑफ टेक स्क्रीन शॉट सो इफ आई जस्ट रिफ्रेश दिस वंस अगेन then you will find that if i run this code snippet it will take actually the screenshot of the web page so it is just reloading here so you can see that this is the result here this is a div and this is a button right here take convert this to image or take the screenshot of this so this is some css here very common css and after that this is the javascript code that is running here so if i hit this button here so you will see that it is converted to image here I can just right click save image as so you can do that so the basically this is the function which is running here as table to canvas which takes is the actual element that you want to convert to image so in this case we are targeting this target element which has a id of target here in the html after that there is a event here on rendered we are talking about and this takes the actual canvas that was converted to image and then we are just a document dot body dot append child we are just appending to the body passing the actual canvas that was converted to image then we are just hit setting the width and the height to let's suppose 320 200 so let me just to open the editor and just write out this example doc type html html head title title let me give html to canvas screenshot example something like this and uh, after that let me have the body here so in the body we will be having a div section of let's suppose i give it a id of screenshot and in that we will be having just a lorem tab so this will be a random text and after that we will be having a button let me give it a id of btn so this will be just have a caption of uh, take screenshot something like this and let me also find a on click event handler to it on click whenever we hit the button we want to execute uh, this function that is we will write this function screenshot so first of all we need to import the html to canvas library which you can find anywhere just right here html to canvas cdn cdn stands for content delivery network we will be just importing it so just go to this website and copy this address here after that just uh, copy make a script tag and the source will be equal to this and then close the script tag so this is the js uh, html to canvas min.js is uh, imported and after that we will write our custom script so this will be the function we will write here function screenshot which we have you can see that we have mentioned here so whenever we hit this button this function will be executed so let me just show you the user interface this is my file here if i refresh this you can see that take screenshot so if i hit this button i need to take the screenshot of this so let me just test if the button is working or not let me have a alert box if i hit the so if i hit this button you can see that the on click event handler is working so what i need to do here is let me just add something style sheet here style tag here so first of all in this style we need to target the id which has given screenshot background color i can just give it of blue color let's suppose black this is if i just make this styles here you can see that 
and also let me give it a width of 300 pixel and a height of 400 pixel something like that to make it a feeling so you can see that just a basic little I don't know more, more about CSS so you can just style it according to you but the bare functionality I just wanted to show you we need to just take that screenshot what can I do here is that first of all we need to grab this element for that we need to make sure I need a new variable of screenshot uh, sorry screenshot not screenshot and then I will be document dot query selector then I will pass the actual ID of screenshot so this will be the element that we want to target and after that we will be making use of the HTML to canvas method HTML to canvas dot so you can see that let me just move on to the example here so you can see that HTML to canvas and this takes the actual element that you want to make sure in this case we are just taking the screenshot of this element screenshot comma and then we have the event hand on rendered so let me just check here it is on rendered or no not capital R just on rendered so this will be passing the canvas actual canvas so we need to just document dot body dot append child and we will just passing the actual canvas that was converted into image so you can see that and lastly we need to mention the width and the height to the canvas so in this case the width I like to remain the same that I has given above you can see that 300 and 400 let me just 300 pixel sorry this is 300 pixel and the height will be 400 pixel sorry semicolon will not be there comma there. Three hundred pixel no, pixel is not required here, so you can see that it this was the error which was coming. So pixel is not required. So this is the whole example, guys. So let me just save this, and uh, if I go back to my example, this is refresh this and hit this button. You can see that take screenshot. So now I have this image here, which I can right click and save to my computer here so save image so this will be a png file so html to canvas always generate png files and uh, you can see that you cannot right click and save this image because this is not image but this is the image that is generated by html to canvas so in this process you can just do it by html to canvas library in this video we have seen it so if you like this video, please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video. Until then, thank you very much.